It's less than 6,400 pounds, and this new Cherokee bunkhouse, it ain't just crazy. It is crazy awesome. I love this new kind of rethought design. They're, they're listening to their customers, and they're giving you exactly what people have been asking for. People have been saying, we want windows on the door side of the RV. Cherokee said, you got it. Take a look at this thing. It's gorgeous, both inside and out. And even though it's just a one slide super slide camper, it feels enormous inside due to those dual big panoramic picture windows. The decor inside is very classy, very stately. It's gonna hold up very nicely to kids banging around in there as well. Big 12 volt fridge, huge pantry in this thing, and you know, nice private bedroom up front. Then outside you might have seen that newly enhanced camp kitchen with that pull out griddle right there. It's like they just, they are really taking it up a notch over here. We have full travel access. We have uh, a direct entry bathroom uh, from the outside. Not that you need it with the full travel access, but it will cut down on foot traffic during the day. I don't care if this is gonna be your first camper. If this is the first one you ever get, you did really good right from the start, by the way. But if you're looking to upgrade, uh, you need a floor plan just fits you a little bit better, man. Man, there's a lot of good happening here. Now, since this model is so different, I thought I'd actually start by doing something different and begin our tour inside with the slide close rather than basically end it here. And pleasantly surprised, with this slide closed, even with that extra large dinette, there's still enough room if you need to take one sideways travel trailer two-step and walk your way through here. You can easily get through here. And you can see that we have full access from both entry doors, whether it's bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, bunks. I don't know that there's anything you lose out on in here with the slide clothes other than just some extra space. Well, I suppose technically you kind of make it harder to get to that door, but uh, I think for a quick travel stop, it uh, still qualifies. And what's really interesting to me here, I've been doing this 12 years, which I'm, you know, I'm, I'm seasoned. I'm not like the most ancient of veterans. There's definitely people, who, even here at Halo RV, they've been doing this a lot longer than me. And we both had the same kind of remark. Oh, they're bringing back that one. It's funny because this feels so foreign and different and new compared to the way every bunkhouse has looked for like the last 12 years. But frankly, not too long ago in the history of the world, things weren't terribly dissimilar from this. Really, what they did here is when slides first started becoming a thing, they would build bunk models like this with a very shallow, maybe only one foot deep slide out. Often it was like a sofa and kitchen slide. But what they did here is they said, no, no, we're, we're Cherokee. We are going to continue to push forward and redefine things. And they gave it a big, deep super slide. And they really just packed it with a lot of space because it's the same super slide that you find in like any other Cherokee RV. But it feels enormous in here. I think partially because you've got that mega window overlooking that dinette, which can fold down into a big sleeper and has those huge storage drawers below it, by the way. But you've got that directly across from the window here overlooking the sofa. And how many times have I heard people say, why can't they just put windows on the door side of the RV? Well, it's a little bit tricky, but this, that was their goal on this one, which by, by the way, pardon the umbrella down there. You can see it's a little bit inclement out there and I'm trying to protect my uh, camera from the weather when I do step outside. And what I also like about this is the way it's very social. Like if you're sitting at the dinette where I'm at right here, Everybody faces everybody. It's more family oriented. We're staring at each other. We're not staring at the wall. We're not just staring at the TV. You could if you wanted to, of course, but this one I think is made about connecting. This one connects with people, if that makes sense. Now, of course, you have those uh, roll down zebra shades for privacy, uh, if you are so inclined. You see the skylight up there, letting in some extra natural light, although you can see it also has a sunshade to block out the sun, so you don't feel like a little crispy crater under the magnifying glass, no sir. Now folks, very important, and I cannot stress this enough, if you are going to leave the space alien viewing porthole in the ceiling wide open at any point, make sure you put on your tin foil hat. My Uncle Gary forgot to do that one time, and look at what happened to him. You hear all the stories I say about my Uncle Gary? One time, that's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 
<laughs> Serious note, couple details. The sink cover here on that big stainless farm sink. It's fully removable, but I like how it actually, you see those little tabs in the front of where the sink insert would go? And notice you have like matching puzzle piece tabs over here. It keeps it in place. And that backsplash actually has a magnetic holdback. That's what the, it's basically it's magnetic baggage door holdbacks right there. Wolfpack did that first, and then a couple other brands have jumped onto that. And that is one of the nice things about looking at a, a camper by the Cherokee RV group. They are so large, it allows them to kind of compare notes and share some of their very best features with one another. Um, and you'll notice a lot of similarities, whether it's a, a wolf pup, a gray wolf, a Cherokee, an Arctic, a wolf pack. You can see that DNA between them. And it occurred to me, I talked about them, but I hadn't actually opened up those drawers so you could see the storage there. So you don't got to tear apart the dinette. Now that can fold down into a sleeper. It's a huge, what I call a true U dinette. It folds down to like a seven foot bed, which speaking of which, hold on. And I'm sorry, I know I'm a little bit all over the place today, but it's actually, it's been kind of fun seeing something different, kind of rediscovering like you know when you find an old song that you used to just play on repeat ad infinitum and all of a sudden you're, oh yeah that song that's how this camper feels to me i get that good i remember you vibe from it so what i was getting at that dinette's a big sleeper now obviously we've got a pair of double double bunks back there but frankly the rv doesn't look and feel it doesn't read like a bunkhouse to me and that's where I think this one is exceptionally well equipped for a very specific client. And it's certainly not that any normal family looking for a bunkhouse wouldn't enjoy it, but I think this camper really works for those who suffer from what I call grandparent guilt. I cannot, I've been doing this, like I said, a dozen years, and I cannot describe, I cannot tell you how many times we've had grandpa and grandma come in here and they say, we want to get a camper. We want to get a big bunkhouse. We want to get all, all, all the grandbabies coming with us. And you know what happens? They almost never come along. Almost. I don't know you. I don't know your family. And maybe you are that nine out of ninth out of 10th person or whatever, where the grandkids do come along with frequency. I just know that it doesn't seem to happen a lot. That's where I think this one's great. Because it just has a nice like living room feel about it. You don't feel like you're wasting bunk space on it. Instead, you just have guest sleeping capacity back here whenever you need it. Or, where this can be kind of cool, is if you are doing some like, um, I'm bringing my friends along sometimes, like uh, maybe Karen and Steve want to come with us or something like that, or you got a couple big dogs or whatever. It's just, it's a really flexible floor plan, but it gives us this beautiful, nice, big living space during the day. There's not a whole lot exactly like this. But one thing I was really glad to see they didn't change because they did not need to break the mold on this is their bathroom. Cherokee does an absolutely fantastic bathroom. You might have noticed we have sealed edge press membrane countertops through the entire RV, not to mention an extra large sink over here and a very large full medicine cabinet over here in the corner with a big old mirror, not just a mirror glued against the wall. And it's a corner model. They're also giving us some really cool things like that extra large vent fan. That is something that stick and tin trailers just do not generally do. That's almost exclusively an upper class laminated feature like a Liberty Edition Freedom Express or more commonly the Rockwood RVs like you'd find here at Halet RV. Now they've done an interesting thing here. It's what I'm going to call the Cherokee Shub. It's not a shower, it's not a tub. It's enough of a tub to give a little baby a quick bath. It's also enough of a tub lip where water's not gonna splash under that shower curtain and end up all over your floor causing you to clean that up. But it's also not a full on tub that's hard to walk in and out of, like to get your leg over it. You don't have that hiccup there. Now, I'm a big guy. I found the leg space in this sufficient. It's, it's not tight, it's not expansive, it's enough. You know what is nice though? That big viewing window there in the entry door. When we get outside though, you won't really see it. Now that is thin shade ready. So if you want to uh, put one of those kind of nightshade jobs in there, you can. The RV's six and a half foot tall. That means my head's in the skylight a little bit when I'm in the shower, but it's up to you to decide if it's that big of a deal. Let, leave me a comment. Is that a deal breaker to you? Because I'm a tall guy. My wife is uh, gravity friendly, we'll say. 
So she can stay in the shower, no problem. It's a little more difficult for me. It doesn't bother me that much, though. I'm only going to spend a few minutes in here. I'm going to spend the rest of my time out of here. So if I got a duck just to take a quick shower, but I get this awesome camper in the meantime, I'm cool with that. I also love the way Cherokee's done just a really good job staying in tune with their clients. Remember last year on that wall, there was that motion sensitive nightlight right there and it would turn on the ceiling light. Now I could turn the light off if I wanted to, but that light on the wall, unless you put like a cloth or something over it, you could never turn it off. Well, Cherokee, listen, a lot of people said, you know, I get the idea, but it's annoying. So they got rid of it. So now they give, they've, they, they given us, they have given us two ceiling lights instead of one, both of which can be individually controlled. So they didn't take anything away. They just moved it, made it better, made it the way you want it. And I think that's pretty cool. Now the slide accent light, that Labatt blue light up there and inside that uh, cabinet, you can turn that off if you are so inclined. Uh, standard electric space heating fireplace down below, taking a lot of the nip out of the air uh, without having to take a sip off old Grandpa's hooch. That'll certainly take the nip out of the air. Holy cow. That sofa, by the way, it can fold down into another small sleeper if need be. And again, you've got those uh, just amazing door side window coverage here, which don't forget, by the way, little viewing window over here in the kitchen space as well as well as the entry door window, as well as that extra tall viewing window in the bedroom, which is kind of cool. You'll see the mirrored hanging closets on both sides of the bed, and kind of like the bathroom. This bedroom works. It didn't need fixed. They didn't need to change it, but they actually did enhance it a little bit. We still have USB outlets and household plugs on both sides of the bed. I love the, the overall color palette and things that we're looking at here. Give you a look at the walk around space. But over here in the corner, they added some extra like dresser and closet space that normally Cherokee bedrooms don't typically have. That by the way, if you want to add, uh, you know, run some TV cables through the wall like to the entertainment system, you could be able to watch the same things in here. But real quick, I want to crack that open so you get the, you know, the, the whole effect of this thing. And I think I mistakenly referred to that as a closet. It is all dresser space. But if you wanted to, you could probably very easily remove that shelf uh, up here in the top section behind the door and uh, put a hanging rod right up there. So I guess it could be closet space. And by the way, over here in the corner, um, that top rectangle looks kind of funny. You see some metallic prongs sticking out at you. That is a Bluetooth speaker mount for a specific Driven brand uh, Bluetooth speaker. It's very cool. It's a neat thing. It's very similar to the Furion lit speaker that I've done a separate video on. But if you take a really close look, you see it does still have USB plugs. Now, any of the USB plugs that you see in this RV, they're all 12 volt powered. So uh, if you do want to spend some time off grid and keep your phone from dying, you can do that. And the last mateys, we will start this one broadside in a midships. <laughs> Remember those uh, windows in the entry doors? Remember how I told you they were going to go away? I wasn't just saying that. Now, of course, the window's still there. It's just what I call the Invisiview entry door. That is nerdism number 37, if we're keeping track. <laughs> Outside TV hookups under that big door side picture window and this updated camp kitchen. Uh, pre the, previously, what they had here was like a dog dish kind of sink and then a, uh, a little cooker. And they have swapped that out for this graystone griddle uh, system right here. It slides right out. And you can see the little prep shelves on either side. They need a little dusting off. But the good news is that we'll have the RV clean for you at no additional charge before you take it home from Halet RV. We got our fridge out here so we don't got to go foot trafficking through the whole RV. And that over there is an ice maker. That's part of the reason that they have basically a second outside shower here is to be able to get water to that. But that is useful for campsite cleanups regardless. As long as you got, uh, you know, 110 electricity and you've got uh, water, you're gonna have ice. Those things crank the ice out. Now, normally Cherokees would have a gas grill quick connect near the front of the camper, but the cooker hooker on this one's just in front of those tires. The standard easy adjust and removable, by the way, stable steps right there. So if you're parked at like a storage facility uh, that doesn't uh, allow you to fully open that, you won't have any issues there. Um, let's take a peek up here in the uh, baggage compartment. And remember, I, I haven't mentioned this previously because I've been so jazzed up about the new model. If you like this and you want to see it in all that black label luxury, give us a call at Halet RV. 
We can do that. Every single Wolf Pup, Gray Wolf, and Cherokee travel trailer, they are available in both the standard series that we're seeing here as well as Black Label. Now, a really cool standard series feature is actually this tongue jack. And you're looking at it going, really? A manual tongue jack is something I'm supposed to be excited about? Take a look on the left side of the screen. Um, it is what I call the Cherokee Quick Jack. And with a uh, like 18 volt drill or 12 volt drill or whatever, you can put that thing up and then down in about eight real time seconds. That's a cool feature. You wanna spend more time camping, less time cranking things around. This is a good way to do it. I also like how, kind of like the bathroom, when they find something that works, they standardize it and they do it over and over and over again like a cookie cutter. Like having all of this stuff up here in the same corner every time, consistency leads to quality through repetition and that full outside utility shower over here, a super, super handy uh, item to have on hand. Good looking color palette on one of these two, even on an overcast day like today. Uh, the slide is slide awning ready, should you choose to add something like that. And down here below the bunk, this is another thing Cherokee's very good about, just opening up every little compartment they can, although this one opens up into a quite big compartment. And you know, one thing that would be good for, I think, is a tote dedicated to all of our kind of sewer stuff, especially since the sewer hookup is right there. Keep that stinky slinky under control. Now, the cargo rack on the back here, I'm not saying Cherokee was the first one to do it, but they were the first ones to really make it like a super common, everybody loves it mainstream sort of feature here. And you're seeing other brands like uh, the Catalinas here at Halo RV jumped on that bandwagon. They said, you know what, Cherokee's caving our heads in with this. I think we want some of that cargo rack with that 200 pound capacity on the back there. Now the spare tire is actually an optional piece of equipment on these, strangely. That being said, uh, you're not going to find us selling you a Cherokee from Halo RV without a spare tire unless you specifically for some reason custom request that. One other thing I want to draw your attention to is if you look just above that walkable roof line near the back, uh, on the back of the, t uh, huh. <sighs> I was doing good. I was doing real good, you know? <laughs> if you look at the top of the back wall, it's not just camera ready, it actually has a camera installed. That's a cool thing they've recently done here. Now, we've already looked at the door side of the RV, but one thing I do want to give you uh, just a quick glance at is just that direct entry bathroom access. And it's, it's one of those things that if you've never had an RV, this feels very weird and uncomfortable to you. But you're camping, you know, we're not, we're not at the house anymore. You're outside and like, you know, I'm walking around in a bunch of muck out here. And just in case you're curious, I actually made sure I recorded all of my outside footage before I ever stepped foot in this camper so that I was not tracking a bunch of that crap through. And I made sure that I actually, I actually walked in here initially. I brought a couple little plastic uh, covers for my shoes. So I was never tracking dirt in here. Anyway, this feels weird but it saves so much dirty foot traffic through the camper. And a lot of people go, yeah, but I feel a little bit exposed, guy. Well, remember, unless you're into that kind of thing, it's not like you're gonna sit there with only the screen door in front of you. You've got the whole privacy door here and no one's gonna walk in on you because you can reach that deadbolt right from the, uh, I would say ground level, but seat level, throne level. What do we wanna call that? And I'm real glad this came in today. Like. I see so many RVs. I get really numb to this stuff. And when, first time I saw this one, I just kind of went, oh, okay, so you rearranged the furniture. Like, it didn't hit me. And it showed up today, and I looked at it again, and I went, wow. I get it, you know? It, it's kind of one of those moments like, your parents tried to tell you not to do dumb things, but you're like, I'm gonna make that mistake myself. I'm gonna find out. This is one of those. Cherokee's like, Please, trust us. We know what we're doing. This is really great. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm the RV nerd. And <laughs> whatever. And then I, I really, I, I step back. I detach myself and I looked at this thing and I went, that's tremendous. That is phenomenal. But that's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Like I said, it's kind of an old design, but kind of with a modern twist on it. I like it. I like it a lot. And if you'd like to take one home, remember... We don't do hidden dealer fees at Halo RV, but we do everything else for your convenience. So if that sounds good, hit that subscribe button, like the video here, and leave me so, uh, a couple comments. Let me know what you liked about her. And as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy crazy <laughs> camping, everyone.